Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. It is very nice to have you here with me today. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I do appreciate it. Hey, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button if you like knife content, because that's what we do here, and we upload three or even sometimes four times a week. And if you count the What's in the Pocket videos, sometimes five or six days a week. So if you like knives and knife content, you have come to the right place. So feel free to subscribe and join us. It'd be great to have you. Today on the table, we have a Swags design. Uh, Sharp and Pointy Swags is a personal friend to the channel, a friend of mine, definitely a friend of Women Carry Knives. She is an amazing human being and she's dropped some very cool designs. This is a new one from Kaiser. This is the Kaiser Chili Pepper and it is a cool, relatively little knife. So let's take a look at what you get. Uh, you get some really nicely sculpted G10 scales. You get a 154 CM blade that has really good thumb studs. It's a really nice snap on this thing. It is a button lock, and it is one of Kaiser's new button locks that is really very good. It does come with a second form of deployment and a front flipper that works every single time. Now, this is described as a drop point on the websites that I have seen, but this looks an awful lot like a trailing point to me. Uh, and so that's what we're gonna call it. I think it's a trailing point blade. It's got a reasonably high grind, so it comes to a very nice edge, and Kaiser does a great job on their 154 CM. It's got steel liners that are milled out. It's got a steel pocket clip, but it does have some flush mounted screws, although the clip is not married into the G10, so there's a little hiccup there, but beyond that, this is a well-sorted knife, and I love those red thumb studs. I really do. This is a fun and cool knife. <laughs> Let's get some specs out of the way. So what do you get? Oh, before we go any further, uh, this is about 75 bucks, which is, for Kaiser these days, for 154 CM, not unreasonable, although I wouldn't say that it's a budget knife. Um, you know, it's getting close to that $100 mark for sure. That's okay. They only come, as far as I can tell, in this red and black colorway. I'm not sure really how to say that, but um, I would love to see this knife released in some other options, although calling it the chili pepper means they're probably going to stick with red. And of course, it's called a chili pepper because of the shape. I mean, it just looks like one. <laughs> uh, you can, right, just hold the button down and then flick it open, by the way. It works pretty well as a gravity knife. So there's actually three forms of deployment on this knife. I dig it. Let's take a look at what you get. You get just at three inches of cutting and blade in that 154 CM blade steel, the grip area. So when I hold the knife, I come forward to about there. So I'm gonna measure it from just behind this mark. You get one, two, three, just a little, a little, over th a little under three and three quarters of grip. So while it isn't a big knife, um, even my big hands aren't that cramped in the sort of cockpit, if you were, right? If you will. So it's it's comfortable and it's fun to use and good to carry. I'm <laughs> I bought this knife because Swags. I honestly did. I was like, oh, something new from Swags. And we had just spent a bunch of time with her at uh, Blade Atlanta. But I'm glad that I did because it is a cool little knife for sure. The overall length coming in at what looks like seven inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, just a hair over seven inches. So seven and a sixteenth. Closed profile is really nice. Um, because it's a top for front flip and thumb studs, there's no flipper back here digging into stuff in your pocket. So let's see, the overall length comes in at just four inches, which is a really nice pocketable size. And in the pocket, you're talking about taking up an inch and a quarter. It's really well done. Let's do some size comparisons, shall we? Get that lined up on the table. Here it is, here it, it wow, I can talk. <laughs> here it is against another lightweight easy carry that we all know, that I know and love. This is the uh, bug out. It is smaller than the bug out as you can see. So of course my large knife comparison tool is just gonna dwarf the thing. There it is against the full size Presidio 2 from Benchmade. The chili pepper is 
a smaller knife, but it is really well sorted. Uh, let's do it against the baby bug out while we're at it, because that is another tiny knife, as you can see. All right. The chili pepper is just a really nice size. It is. I, you know, you guys have talked about this before. I don't get to carry the big giant stuff at work anymore. Um, I just can't. So smaller knives have really become, well, they've, have opened a new chapter. Let's put it that way. Uh, stuff like the bug out, um, just that size knife have really become important to me. And so when I got the chili pepper and got a look at its overall dimensions, I was really happy about that. Uh, do I have any complaints before we go any further? Well, I do have one. The pocket clip is stamp steel. And as I said, it is flush mounted screws, but it is not married into the G10. And it is really tight up here at the top. This is a very small space. And so if you wear heavy jeans like I do, uh, it does hang up a little bit right there at the top. So just something to keep in mind. Nothing is perfect. That's okay. Let's go ahead and see how much of that 154 CM they give us. Oh, crappy magic calipers. All right. I think it's going to be a relatively thin slice. Yeah, so we're coming in at 2.83 millimeters. Uh, what that means is that down here at the edge, it is nice and slicey because it starts thin and stays reasonably thin. They did a good job with that. And by the way, this came very sharp. And there's Swag's little signature right there on the blade. <laughs> the knife itself from edge to edge in the pocket comes in at just about half an inch. Yeah, about half an inch. Let's go ahead and get that. So yeah, 12.81, which is just a hair over a half inch. I'm a Kaiser fan. At least I was. I love older Kaisers a ton. The big titanium S35VN stuff. Uh, their lean into the sort of mid-range budget market hasn't always worked for me. But stuff like this, right? I mean, look at the texturing on that G10, right? It's, it's milled out here. It's milled out for the button. The screws are countersunk. This is just well done. <laughs> and it's pretty. And it's really usable. I do... Okay, so I, I called it a... I see why they say drop point, because it's very lightly... Uh, the upsweep is very light. But I, I'm going to stick with trailing point. <laughs> If this was flat, it'd be a drop point, but it does come up a little bit in almost a Persian style, so trailing point. It's got a little bit of jimp. Well, it's got a lot of jimping, actually, uh, from here to here on the blade. So no, kind of no matter where you put your thumb, you've got somewhere to grab. And it is... I almost wish they just kept going, because when I hold this knife this way, there's no jimping up here. Um, it's something that Anthony over at uh, Tactical Everyday Dad has sort of spoiled me on. All of his fixed blades have got jimping up here at the front of the blade. And I really come to like it. Something I wish more designers would do. Action is superb. It's on bearings. That button lock, very smooth. It's not uncontrollably fast, which I think is the thing I like most about it. When you push the button, right, it just sort of swings, but it doesn't slam. So it's controllable, which is really well done. Let's go ahead and weigh it out, see where we fall. Do, do, do. All right. 3.1 ounces for a three inch blade. It is right at that ounce per inch that people like so much. And I understand why this really is at seven inches really is an excellent EDC tool. So great job swags. Great job Kaiser putting it together. Um, with the minor sort of yeah, complaint about how tight the clip is. Everything else about this knife is really, really well done. And so I think if you are looking for a cool Kaiser and a good blade steel from a nice designer for under 100 bucks, I think the Kaiser Chili Pepper might just be a knife for you. Uh, this one, of course, belongs to Women Carry Knives now. It is her color and her style, but uh, I'm glad it's part of the collection. So that's where we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the chili pepper here or any of the knives you've ever seen on my channel, feel free to ask down in the comments below and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.